All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a little behind the scenes for the uh, Death Wish coffee video that I made. I had two people reach out to me and ask for it, so that's enough for me to wanna do it, all my fans. So yeah, no, I'll take you guys really quick because I realize that you guys probably don't care about everything that I have to say or wanna say. I'm just gonna basically try to show you guys what I did in Adobe Premiere and not waste too much of your time. I did not actually shoot it like a behind the scenes video just because I was mainly focused on creating the best video possible so what you guys are going to see is the shots the raw shots and then the edited shots and i'll take you through how i actually edited each of them this is actually only going to be the latte video i did do two other videos one for their new cold brew and another one for their uh, slightly sweet cold brew if you guys are interested hop on their website you guys can pick up their cans it's actually a new product that i reached out to them to do a little product video for them this whole thing was uh, inspired by daniel Schiff. I uh, love the way he creates his product videos and basically try to do my own whole little setup like that. So I'll, I'll shoot up, I'll show a picture of the setup that I had created. It's actually right there in the back of my bedroom. I literally had just set up a mini studio. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So without wasting any more of your time, let's uh, dive right into it. So this first shot is the can simply just falling into a bunch of coffee beans. I obviously color corrected the shot a bunch. I filmed this in Cine 4, so it was pretty easy to work with and be able to make it look pretty pretty good. So here's the uh, original without the uh, scaling, or sorry, not the original, that was the color corrected, or this is the color corrected, there we go. All right, so this next shot was where I actually poured the latte over ice, and this was requested by the company just because they wanted a they wanted the feeling to be that the latte is already ready to go and they didn't like the shot I had before with the coffee being mixed with the milk. Uh, so this next shot, it's going to show the original clip and then the color corrected version. So there's the uh, original clip that I had filmed, Cine 4 as well. And here's it with the scaling without the color correction and then added a few things. We uh, obviously made it look much better here. The only things I did was a couple simple things and made some uh, adjustments here on the color wheels with the mid-tone shadows and highlights. Kind of gave it that warmer, creamy coffee look, which obviously helped a bit. Um, the next shot is obviously the last one with the can being over sitting on top of a bunch of coffee. I mean, I was trying to really make sure that there weren't any hot spots on the can and added a few extra lights to make sure that the uh, can was fully lit and didn't have any parts that were overexposed. I overlaid it with smoke so that smoke that you're seeing is not real that's just overlaid in the actual clip. So right here that's without the smoke that little clip you see it'll show it here. Yeah that's without the smoke and obviously you can see it looks a little dull and not too much movement so there we add the smoke give it a little more movement. This uh, next part here, these were the clips that I intended to use originally. Pretty similar setup to that first latte being filled clip. Simply just pour the coffee in a little dramatically. Obviously you wouldn't pour it like that if you were uh, doing that normally. Just try to give it that extra splash look. And then here it is with the uh, color correction. Just kind of give it that more dramatic dramatic feeling to match the, the other clips. Added a few uh, little adjustments on the mid-tones and made it a little warmer. And then here is the milk being mixed in with the coffee. That's the original there. And then obviously with the color correction, gives it that creamy, creamy good look. This was for the other cold brews, but I thought I would just include it because it was a hassle to actually get these beans to be pretty much in focus the whole clip. There were a lot of beans all over the floors after this clip. Got them pretty much all in focus, had one good clip there but obviously brought out some of those warmer colors again just to make it a little more inviting. Uh, so yeah, that's it. These two clips here I'm gonna play for you are the final versions. You guys comment down below which clips you, or which uh, version you think is better. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. Peace.